Hello, everybody, and how are you all doing today? I am Rusty Champagne here with you, and I hope you are having a wonderful day. We are here once again in the world of Beach Club, uh, I can talk, Beach Club Simulator 2024. Um, it's been a few days since we've been in this game. I looked, and this game has undergone a number of patches and updates. So some of the patches that they've had here, they've just done some bug fixes. They've done some economy balancing. Um, they also made it uh, cheaper to hire a waiter, apparently. And apparently the bartender now also works faster, which is nice, because the bartender was a little bit slow. And they also apparently added boat tours. So we can have a, uh, a boat trip from the marina, and we can organize a boat tour once a day for $2,000, and then we can go to the island with our own boat and search for valuable treasure. So all kinds of interesting stuff that they added here in the last little bit. So let's hop back in, and let's see what we got going on. So when we last left off here, we had just kind of gotten things started here at the Rusty Chair. Uh, got a few deck chairs set up. We hired Sam, the dancing bartender. We were looking to hire a waiter, but we really couldn't just because it was too expensive for us. We also uh, had the Mafia come and basically extort us for $300. And that was about it. Got a bunch of tips, saved a bunch of people from drowning, uh, hit a couple of people, uh, hit a couple of sharks with a stick. So just your just a normal, ordinary, average day here in the area all right we're gonna go in here i'm just gonna get this all taken care of right now and we're not gonna worry about it again well the shower i will have to do every day but we're gonna we're gonna go to the bathroom we're just gonna put this behind us we're gonna pretend that none of this happened and it's it's gonna be a one-time thing and then then we'll be done so we're gonna do this part again not a huge fan of this part but we're gonna do it and everyone avert your eyes i would say that would be the thing to do right about now okay there we go that's gone and we're on our way again not quite sure why they got to have that there i know that they find it funny so i will let them have their sense of humor i know i'm just an old stick in the mud but uh, it's just it's gratuitous poop humor okay uh let's get down here to our beach club and let's try and get some stuff set up here because i know we got plenty of things that we need to get cleaned up Actually, there's no garbage at the beach. How about that? That's kind of nice. That's a nice change. Hopefully, it stays like that. Uh, let's go into our phone, and let's find out how cheap it is to actually hire someone to work for us now. So if we go here to my beach, and if we go to, okay, just log in, and if we go, I do have to pay my bills. I don't have to pay my bills. There are no bills to be paid. Okay, um, if we go to employees, how much is it to hire a waiter now? $500. I definitely want that. So we will eventually, we will hire a waiter once we have $500. Because that's one of the things I was struggling with the most, was just having to run back and forth all the time and uh, and take care of all the people that are in the deck chairs. I mean, I love taking care of people, but it would also be nice if I didn't have to do it as often. So we have, I think that that's the music app. Um Okay, so that's something that we could, we could buy music. So I guess I could get Chronicles of Ether. We must first purchase speakers. Okay, I don't have any speakers, so I don't want to worry about that. Let's get this place open because I'm wasting time, and time is money. The Beach Club is open for your convenience, and we'll take a look at some of this other stuff as we go. Let us put away our phone, and let us uh, put away everything in our hands, and you better not be taking pictures. I'll let you stand there, but if you start taking pictures, you're going to get hit with a bat, and we don't want that. How you doing, sir? Welcome to the Rusty Chair. Good to see you again. Uh, hope you enjoy the quality of life now that we've had some patches, and we will eventually have some stuff for everybody to do that is a little more interesting. Uh, Sam, how you doing, Sam, the bartender? We probably need to get some food in here, don't we? Let's see. What do we got? We do have a couple of crispy chickens. We have some pizzas. Okay, we've got, we got enough of the basics. So we're good. That should work out fine. And again, once we get over $500, I'm going to probably work on getting us a, uh, a bartender or a waiter. That's what I meant, a waiter, because I'd rather have someone else taking care of all these people. So you want an apple juice. Let's see how quickly you work now. So let's see, one apple juice. Are you going to work a lot faster than you did before? Uh, that is faster. We will take that. Uh, you do your dance. We love it. Okay, let's run this down. And there you go. Thank you very much. 
And now let's take a look. Okay, let's grab our uh, detector. And let's see what we can detect out here. So we're going to go out this way, find what we have in the water. Is it? Okay, it's right here. It's right below me. There we go. What do we got today? It looks like a bracelet of sorts. Possibly, maybe, kind of, sort of, maybe. Um, so let's head back. Oh, we got a bunch of people here. Let's put this away. And we will get everybody in. Again, you better not be taking pictures or I will beat you up. How you doing, ma'am? Good to see you. And everybody, come on in. It is a party. You are all invited here to the Rusty Chair. I will eventually get more chairs, but I want to get a waiter first. Um, because that way I don't have to run back and forth and take care of people's orders. My fancy waiter can do it. Two crispy chickens. Let's do that. All right, let's get some crispy chicken going, guy. Let's make it happen. Hopefully this will be faster than it was before. That is definitely faster. I am liking that. That is much faster than it used to be. I am a fan of fast. There we go. And one more crispy chicken. We'll get you working on that. There you go. From the freshest of windows. We have it. Okay. Oh, boy. We got somebody who's already in danger of drowning. That didn't take long. Where are you? You're not even that far in the water. You're, like, right here. Um, okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get you all rescued here. Come on down. And left mouse button, left mouse button. There you go. You're at least going to leave us a tip, so that's the good part. And here we go. Normal entry for you. And I got to go and grab the window crispy chicken. Grab it. There we go. It does look good. I will give it that. And there you go. Some crispy chicken. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Not to be confused with crispy chippy. And another one. Man, oh, man. Uh, where are you? Uh, oh, you're way over there. You're by the rocks. Why don't you just grab the rocks, sir? I'm sure it's not that slippery. But <laughs> apparently that's too much. So we're going to run over here, rescue you. We apparently are like Hercules and can just like lift people up that easily and bring them in. Okay. All right. Let's get you left mouse button, left mouse button, left mouse button. <gasps> and you're good. Thank you very much. Again, Mr. Creeper, I'm going to grab my bat. You might want to get away. I'm going to grab my bat if you don't keep on circling around here. Here we go. All right. Thank you all very much. How are we doing on money? 525. Oh. <sighs> Having your own beach club can be so daunting, um, especially when you have people that just constantly drown. Okay, again, here we go. Rescue. Uh, rescue. Let us get you taken care of. You don't even look like you're drowning. You look like you're doing this on purpose. Uh, okay, how about now? There you go. Three for three. All right, I'm getting my bat. I'm getting tired of seeing that guy. Uh, you, you're standing around. Get out of here. There we go. I don't even know if you're doing anything, but I'm tired of seeing you, so go away. Uh, you are in, and you are in, and you are in because we let everybody in. We do not discriminate here at the Rusty Chair. Everybody, come on in. Have a good old time. Uh, what do we got? We got, oh, my goodness, three apple juices. I got to get a waiter, but I got to have enough money to also pay Sam. So let us uh, get an apple juice. And we'll have to get another apple juice, and we'll have to get another apple juice. And then we'll do that. So we're going to take that, start giving everyone their apple juices, because they love an apple juice. So here you go. And I should also put that bracelet or whatever it was that I got uh, up for auction, because that'll get us some more money. So why don't I do that? I am from one place to the next, just like that. So we're going to go to the trader, sale by auction, the bronze. Oh, my gosh, 7000 Oh, man. We'll go all the way up to 8000 for that. Okay. Uh, 8.04. That's a lot of money. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Please, everybody buy that thing. That's going to make us a lot more than $6. Holy smokes. That is going to make a lot of changes for us here at the Beach Club. I am enjoying that. I will gladly sell that for $10,000. There we go. Oh, man. Now we're in the money. Okay, that's almost like cheating. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that's interesting. But again, I'll take it. That's good. All right, come on in, everybody in. I'm not going to have enough time. I might be able to give one person an apple juice. Ooh, that was an, uh, that was a VIP because I saw it said seventy five dollars. So how you doing, Mister VIP? So good to see you. 
Uh, what can we do for you? So I need a cola. I've got to make sure I don't run out of, out of time when I do this. So because if I run out of time, then anything that I bring up is just going to go to waste. So we'll take that. We're going to run this down, get you taken care of. And thank you very much. And once again, one more drowning because it wouldn't be the end of a day without one more person drowning. So we'll get you rescued, bring you up, and get you to where you're not drowning anymore. There we go. Are you the VIP? You might be the VIP on top of that. So you really liked it. Here's an additional tip. Awesome. Let's go over here to our tip box. Uh, we are closed for the day, sir. Uh, we'll, we will see you tomorrow. All right, tip box. All kinds of money. Some of it fell onto the ground. But we do, we're do. we still able to get it. Yeah, lots of tips. Look at that. That's nice. Okay. So now we got $11,000. And it's still only 7.40 p.m. So what can we do? First and foremost, I do want to go into here. And I do want to hire another employee. I don't want to grab my metal detector. That's not going to do me any good. So we're going to go to my beach. We're going to go to... There's no invoice to be paid. Um, we're going to go here to the employees. We are going to hire a waiter. So we're going to do that. That's going to cost us 500 And that's fine. Uh, I don't know whether or not I want the bodyguard because that's going to cost us a 1000 And I don't know what the bodyguards are going to really do for us. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm just going to stay there with that. So we got a waiter. And that'll be good. So I should probably start getting some more food. So let's take a look at food. Oh, I've got to actually get the food first. So let's go here. Let's go to my, uh, to, uh, where was it? It was shopping. And let's go to food. So let's swing over. Let's get a bunch of foods. So we're going to do, because I've, I've got tons of money. Let's just load up on food. Let's do all the food. So 10 of you. Oh, I can only order 10 things at a time. Okay. So we'll, I guess we're just going to do a whole bunch of orders of food then. Okay, so we'll do all this because, again, I've got tons of money. Why not? Let's just get all the food and give everyone all the options. So we'll do six of those, four of those, and then we'll set the prices on everything, and I'll just go all the way down the line with this. So then we've got tons of opportunities because apparently we have unlimited storage space in the <laughs> bartender shack. So we're, we're just going to go with that. And, again, I'm not going to have to worry about doing anything with this because uh, we have a waiter now that's going to take care of getting all the stuff. So, I mean, it's almost like we got a free loan when we sold that ring. That was kind of funny that that was all that money. So, yeah, we're just going to keep on getting a little bit of everything, and then we'll set the prices on it. So uh, $10 hot dog. There we go. And then we're going to get some more of those and some hamburgers. There we go. Just, I wish you could order more than 10 things at a time. That would be kind of nice. So there we go. Six and four. And then we just got some salmon. We got some sushi. And then we'll have whatever is the last thing down there. Okay, so sushi. Then we got six of those and four breakfast. A $34 breakfast. That's an expensive breakfast. All right, we'll get some breakfast. And then we're going to go over here to drinks. And we're going to get some apple juice. So that's all we can get. So we need two more apple juice. So now we got two of those, eight beer. And again, we're just going to keep going right down the line and getting everything that we can. So two of those, five of those, three of these. There we go. And we're going to keep ordering all the food and the drinks. So that way we've got a menagerie of products. So three of those. There we go. Um, I don't know what Rocky is or Racky. I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. Um, what was that guy over there? Uh, let's see. Uh, I saw someone that ran out that direction. Um, oh, I'm dancing. I don't want to be dancing. Uh, what are you doing? Why are you here? What are you doing? Um, what What are you all about? Uh, like, get out of here. Uh, go away. Run. Get out. Get out. Get out. Go. Go. Are you picking up garbage? Are you just like, uh, are you just here to pick garbage up? I didn't hire you. I don't think I hired you. Are you my waiter? Is that what it is? Um, I don't know. That's odd. Okay. Are you just kind of walking away to nowhere? You're, maybe you're the waiter. 
And now you look so morose and forlorn because I tried to hit you with a stick and all you were doing was cleaning up the garbage. Um, more on that later. Let's go back here. Uh, so let's see. Where were we now? We were at... Um, oh, we were here. So we're going to do this, get 10 of those... And I'm going to skip over the hookahs. I'm not a fan of that. So just personal preference. Uh, we're going to get the gin and do that. We're going to go here to the sodas, get 10 of those. And then 10 of the vodkas. Man, there's a lot of products here. And we can apparently fit all of it in that little shack. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, water, wine, and whiskey. There we go. We got water. We got wine. And we've still got plenty of money, believe it or not, and whiskey. All right, there's everything. Now we're going to go into the menu and set the price on all these things. And we're going to set it, like, right in the midpoint. So we're going to do that. Because um, I, I don't remember. That's the one thing that I they don't tell you how much you bought each of these things for. That's the only thing that's an unfortunate thing is that they don't tell you what, these, what you bought it for. So I'm just going to go, like, midpoints on all this. And we're going to just stick it there. And that'll be fine, because I think we'll be okay there. If people complain about the prices, we'll deal with it later. But we're just going to kind of go mid midpoint a $40 hamburger. Wow, that's kind of crazy. Uh, $50 for salmon, and that's fine. Uh, sushi should be about $50, but it's only going to be $37. Uh, the breakfast was at least $34, so we're going to definitely pump that up. Uh, apple juice will make that. Uh, sorry, all the prices are going up here at the Rusty Chair. It is inflation. I hope you don't mind. And if you do, I'm sorry. You can leave me a comment, and we'll we'll work on the prices. A $15 thing of coffee. Um, we'll do 38 for that. We're going to go here to the gin. Gin is always expensive. And soda is cheap, but we'll still bump it up. to. We'll make it $6. And all the prices, uh, $10 water and $43, $42 wine and $50 whiskey. I'm feeling good about that. Now, I think we can take a look. So what was the thing? Was it growth? Let's see. Oh, so these are all the things where we are. Uh, so these are uh, different achievements and stuff. Uh, skills. So we have skills. Reduce hunger and thirst, increased energy. So I can I get one of these? Let's see. Fewer shark encounters, enhanced car control. I don't have a car. Uh, reduce hunger and thirst, increased energy. I feel like that might be good. Or maybe I'll do fewer shark encounters. Let's do that. And, oh, I can do one more thing. I've got two more. I've got two skill points. And what is that? Shark Hunter 2. Is that even fewer? We'll do that. Reduce hunger and thirst. And how are we doing on popularity? Um, pretty good. They've taken as many unnecessary people as possible to the venue. Well, what, aren't you just kind of discriminatory? Uh, let's see. The owner seems to be repeating the same sentences like a broken record. I know the We Apologize song by heart now. I don't remember saying I was sorry for anything, but uh, we seem like we're pretty good. Okay. Got a bunch of food. Is it already morning? It's already morning. I did not go to sleep at all. We're just going to stay up. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? We can maybe even get a couple of... Let, let's get a couple of fancy... Um, maybe a couple of fancy, uh, fancier sunbeds. Let's get a, let's get this fancy chaise lounge, a long. So let's get a chaise lounge and we'll get that fancy chaise lounge. Let's do one of each of those. There we go. Um, I'm spending all the money. Why not? Let's grab our hammer. We're going to wait here for the delivery guy to show up. The treasure hunt has started. Uh, where's our delivery person? Uh, they should be here momentarily. I did order those things, right? Please tell me I did. Let's see. Uh, I Yeah, I did. I definitely did. He should be here momentarily. Uh, We're not at 8 o'clock yet. We're almost there. So, oh, here he comes. All right. He'll be here in just a second. And once he's here, we will get these things set up. So I will grab my hammer, and we will set these up. Uh, we'll set these up a little bit more up on the shore. So get a fancy chaise lounge here. Rotate it like this. We'll set these like right here. That'll work. And then we will... Oh, I, can I rotate that? Uh, let's see. We'll give that a rotate so that it's actually facing the water. But doesn't that look slick? Um, there we go. And then we've got the other chaise lounge. Oh, let's get the thing open because it's time. 
So the uh, the place is open. The beach club is open for your convenience. There we go. Let's do that. And let's get this. The Blue Jays Lounge. Ooh, you really look fancy. And we're going to set that right next to the red one. So you guys can kind of talk amongst yourselves about your swanky digs. There we go. Look at that. Now we got more and more spaces for people. And you guys can kind of just chill. That pillow looks like it's supposed to be facing that way. So we're going to go this way with this and set it like that. There we go. I'm assuming that's the head of the bed and that's the foot. So we'll do that. How you doing? Come on in. Welcome to the updated rusty chair. Now with new chaise lounges and a waiter and everything. The waiter will be more than happy to take your order. I want to see if that is the waiter. So if Mr. Morose Man over there is the waiter, let's see if that is true. Uh, is he running? He is. Okay, he is actually the waiter. That's what that was about. So I tried to kill the waiter, <laughs> not realizing that that's who that was. Sorry about that, sir. Uh, you didn't have a sign on you saying, hi, I'm your waiter. So that's kind of on me. Or And it's a little bit on you because all of a sudden you're running around the beach and I didn't know who you were. All right, so he's going to take care of all that. So now I can go out here and I can grab my metal detector again. And let's see what we can sell today. So we're going to go over this way. It's kind of down. Oh, there it is. I see it already. So we're going to grab these. This is just like a set of binoculars, it looks like. Are they fancy binoculars? I don't know. How much are we going to be able to sell these for? So let's go to the trader and sale by auction. Oh, yeah, these are just antique binoculars. That's not that big of a deal. But it's still 150 bucks. so we will do that. Uh, let's see. Who wants our antique binoculars for $150? At least one person does. Oh, time to grab the stick. Uh, we've got to... Okay, I've got to wait just a second here. And and I got someone who's willing to get ready to drown. This is a bad time to be having an auction. Come on, finish up, finish up, finish up. There we go. Sell. Gone. Done. I'm, I'm good with it. Sell it. Okay, grab our stick. Uh, shark, get out of here. Where are you? Did you already eat somebody? Uh, if you did, uh, sorry to the person that you ate. Get out of here. Um, go away. <laughs> and, oh, yeah, I didn't save that person. I can save you. There we go. So the shark ate a person. That's probably going to damage my reputation. That will probably not be good. Um, we'll have to work on that. I was busy at an auction. What do you want? I don't I don't know what to tell you. Oh, we got all these people that want to get in. All right, how you doing? I should probably bump this price up to over $6. Because at this point, $6 isn't a lot. Everybody, come on in. Because, again, we are not discriminatory here. You can all come on in. We would love to have all of you here. Okay. So let's see. How much can I make the price here now? So they're continuing to work on. So, yeah, he just he takes care of all the food. That's great. So I don't even have to worry about that anymore. And if we get to the point where people order stuff faster than he can work, then... He's got extremely long arms. I mean, his arms go all the way down to his knees. That's <laughs> that's interesting. You keep dancing, man. You keep doing it. Okay. And we're going to go back here. And so we just got to let people in. I guess that's where the body card could come into play. But again, the body card is going to cost a lot of money. And I got to make sure that I'm making enough money to pay the people that I already have here. Because this guy's costing me $500 a day, and my bartender's costing me $100 a day. So I got to make sure I don't run myself out of money in this process. So let's see. We're actually going to go in here. Can, how much more can I make the price of the entry? Oh, I can make this a lot more. All right, let's make it $20. Bucks, um, because that's still low. And we're going to make this uh, $90. Bucks. There we go. And we're going to see what people say then. Because I feel like $6 is still really, really cheap. So 20 bucks, And people seem to be more than happy to pay that. And I've got to pay the bills because I've got two employees here. In inflation is a real bummer. So I don't know what to tell you. But i got to be able to pay my people. So you seem like you're fine with $20. And I'm just going to keep on going with it. And we've got our waiter that's doing his thing. He's running like mad. Okay, we got someone else who's in danger of drowning because we, we've got to have that. It wouldn't be a day if we didn't have someone who's in danger of drowning. All right, let's get you rescued. Bring you back up to the shore and get you all taken care of. 
Look at you being all fancy in the Chase Lounge. Uh, that was a good purchase on our part. Um, and we got another one in Danger of Drowning. Uh, maybe you should have your feet on the ground, sir. Uh, it'd be nice to not have sand all up in my Chase Lounge, but uh, you do you. You are the customer. You are always right. Let's get you rescued. Again, I don't know why we have so many people that can't swim that come here to the beach. And I don't think that we have riptides as a problem. It's just people are just not good swimmers. That's what I'm getting out of this. All right, how you doing? Come on in. Let's get you all taken care of. I have not slept in a day, so I, I'm starting to feel it. But I think we're all right. We're, we're going to hang in there. I'll try and get some sleep tonight, and I think we'll be better. So, yeah, now we're making pretty good money. How are we doing in the tip box? Uh, $19 in tips each time. That's good. Um, so it seems like we're getting better and better tips. I like that. Uh, let's take a look at our popularity, see if anything's been said here. So let's go back here to my beach. Oh, gosh. I, I'm trying to read my popularity, people. Uh, is that too much to ask? Uh, again, I, I'm going to have to put a sign saying here, if you can't swim, don't go in the water. Because this is just getting silly. All right. And you look like you're a big, strong dude. How can you possibly not know how to swim? I mean, you're stronger than I am from what it looks like. Uh, you've got a six-pack, and I've got a keg. So I don't know why you can't swim. All right. We can get a couple people in here. Oh, yeah, because this is only 1800 We're open until 1900 Let's make a little more money. Let's do it. Another 20 bucks per person. I'm all about that. I wonder if I can go all the way up to 30 bucks a person. I mean, I could keep jacking this thing up like crazy. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, yeah, I was going to take a look at our popularity. My Beach, um, growth, popularity. Uh, don't open a venue you can't manage. Uh, that's rude. Uh, you try it, man. You you come here and have the people that can't swim and then have a shark that you have to beat with a stick. Uh, you, you give it a try and see what you think, man. Uh, <laughs> You'll find it isn't that easy. Okay, here we go. A couple more people in, and then let's get this other person who can't swim. All the people, and again, you're so close to you're so close to the shore. I guess if nothing else, we get tips from this, and I should I should just go with that. Okay, and there you go. You're all rescued. And oh yeah, we got plenty of money. We still got five fifty seven hundred dollars. That is good. All right, so money fell over here. Let's grab it. So $12 in tips, and another 12 and another 12 and another, and another, another one. Okay, perfect. So a couple days in, we can probably at some point uh, do a little bit more expanding, but I'm going to just hold off for now. I don't know if I want to, because again, I don't want to get too crazy with it. Or maybe I'll do a few more beach chairs, and I'll put some beach chairs over here. I'm going to do that. I have already changed my mind. It took me all of five seconds. You guys know me. You know how I work. Okay, let's get some uh, shopping. Uh, we can do some fancy red sun beds. Yeah, let's do some fancy red sun beds. One, two, three, four. Let's get those. I'm probably not going to get any sleep tonight. I can see it already. So let's get these. And we're going to set these up. What is this Onsta Gray? Uh, I can take a photo. You can take selfies for your profile and enjoy the likes. I'm just not that vain. And I don't want to see myself. So <laughs> we're just going to leave that alone. Um, maybe I need to do it as part of some objective, but I'm not going to worry about it at just this moment. But we are going to wait for our delivery man to show up, and then we can get our red chaise lounges set up. I do still have that gentleman out there that looks like he's ready for a beatdown, but he is walking away, so we're just going to let him do his thing. I wonder if the delivery man doesn't show up overnight. I wonder if that's a thing. Maybe he doesn't. Did I actually order those? I thought I did. Um, I'm almost positive I did. Yeah, maybe he doesn't show up at night. <clears throat> that is a possibility. So maybe I do need to go back. Maybe this is their way of saying, Rusty, you need to get some sleep. So maybe we will do that, and we'll wait and see if in the morning... Oh, there he is. <clears throat> He's stuck. Uh, sir, uh, can I help you? Can I grab these things for you? You are definitely stuck, and you're being pushed the wrong way by this lady. All right, you've just got to get past this lady, and then everything's going to be fine. I don't know why it is that this lady is causing you a fit. Um, I guess you're going to eventually get here. I don't know if there's anything I can... I guess I can hit this lady with a stick 
and that'll get her out of your way. So, all right, we're going to do that. Can we do that? Um, can we do that? No, I can't even hit her with a stick. It won't even let me. She's just in the way. All right, we're going to go to bed, and we'll see if maybe <laughs> that will clear this guy up. Maybe everything will be fine, and maybe he'll be back here by morning because she is just impeding his progress, and he does not know how to get around her. So we're just going to go to sleep. That is definitely a hint. How are you doing, guy, with a giant smile on his face that sits a little bit too far away from his desk? Um, yeah, we will stay here as long as we can until you kick us out. Because if it's not going to cost us any money, then this is a perfectly nice place. And I can leave the door open and nobody cares. All right, we're shaking off two days fatigue because I didn't sleep at all yesterday. Last night, I didn't get to sleep at all. No, no. <laughs> the sleeping pills I took were just a waste of time. And there we go. Last night, I didn't get to sleep, didn't get to sleep. No, I didn't get to sleep at all. All right. Uh, did you, were you able to make the delivery? Are you still stuck there? Uh, you look like you're on your way. Yes. You seem like you're on your way. No, you are still stuck by that lady. Uh, we'll probably eventually get those deck chairs. I'm not sure what it's going to take for that lady to get out of your way. And I'm not going to worry about it. Um, we'll, we'll just deal with it. We'll see if eventually you get cleared out from where you are. I can only hope. Uh, we do have a treasure hunt, so let's grab our handy-dandy metal detector and run out here right now while we can. And let's see what we've got in the water. Um, it is right here. Where is it? Oh, it looks like it's another coin. We do love coins. So we will take the coin because coins are good. So let's run back here and go here to our mobile phone and go to the trader and sell this coin. Yeah, it's only 150 bucks. Let's see if we can bump it up to 200. Let's see if anyone will go for 200 for that. 201 even. Oh, he made it. Finally, our delivery man got past the lady on the street who was holding him up and impeding his progress. And all is well. So he is here. I'm going to wait for this thing to sell. And once it's sold, I only had one person that was interested in it. But hey, it's still $220. And that pays two-fifths of my waiter's salary. So that's all I need. So sell that. And now we're going to go in here. And let's see. I'm going to try and bump this up to $30. $30. So we're going to do that. We're going to make this a hundo. Because people still seem to be willing to pay the price. So I'm going to keep on charging it. So once again, the beach club is open for your convenience. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to grab a hammer. It's hammer time. Grab our red sun beds and set them up on the opposite side of our yellow sun beds. So we're going to set these up over here and get them right over on this side. There we go. Make these all look nice and pretty. I won't beat you with the hammer. I promise. Uh, we, we will bring you in, though. Uh, 29. I thought I said it. Oh, and you're a VIP for a hundo. Did I set the price at 29? Let's see. Did I do that? I did. 30. That's what I want. There we go. So that's the price I want. And how are you doing, sir? Good to see you. I know it was only $6, but we're five times as fancy. Oh, another hundo. There we go. Come on in. Bring all your hundos. We will take them. And, oh, we don't actually have to grab the hammer. That's good. I thought we needed to grab the hammer in order to do this, but we don't. So all we got to do is just grab the item, and it automatically puts the hammer in place. That's good to know. Oh, already someone's in danger of drowning. Two people are in danger of drowning. Uh, let's get you rescued. I don't know if I'm going to be able to save both of you, so we're going to do our best. Uh, let's see. Um, you are the VIP, so you better give us a hefty tip for almost drowning. And how about you? Can we get to you real, real fast? I'm on my way. Don't drown just yet. Amazingly that I can swim and you can't. So, all right, uh, and I can't grab the stick. This is apparently the day where all the chaos breaks out at the rusty chair. Uh, how rude. Okay, uh, let's get you taken care of. All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <gasps> You're good. Grab our stick, and, oh, no, grab our stick. There we go. Get out of here. Nope. <sighs> I don't know what I can do when I have two people that drown and then one person that is uh, <laughs> attacked by a shark. I can't be in three places at once. I'm getting a lot more VIPs, so that's good, and I am glad with that. And you, where was the guy, the photo man? 
There you are. Get out of here. You are just a complete creeper. Go away, dude. Get out. Yeah. Basically, anytime I see you, I know what you're up to, and it's no good. So I just know that from now on. And uh, anytime I see you, you're going to get whacked with the pole, and I am good with that. I don't even take umbrage to it anymore. All right, a couple more sunbeds. Let's get those set up. And over here, so this is the area with the red sunbeds, and then we have the area over on the other side that's the yellow sunbeds. So you can choose whether or not you like yellow or red better and take your choice and pick a side. Now, I'll probably at some point have to get another waiter if I keep on having all these chairs. But look at this now. Got a couple of chaise lounges. We got some chairs. It's all fancy. We're charging 30 bucks a day. People are willingly paying it. I've got a couple people that died because they got eaten by sharks. <clears throat> the mafia is back again. How much money are they going to want now? What do you want? Uh, how much is it? What do you want? Working out of the, without protection is risky. It's essential that you make a payment for us to the security of this beach. <sighs> it's only $300. Fine. Um, maybe I've got to get a bodyguard. And that's what I'll have to do. And then I've got to be able to cover $1,500 a day in costs. So we'll we'll see if we can get up to that point. Because if I can cover $1,500 a day in costs, then I can have a bodyguard. And then I think it'll be okay. Because right now, it's costing me, for my employees, it is costing me how much? So if I go here and if I go to employees, it is costing me... Um, uh, what is it? $100 a day and $500 a day. So, yeah, that's going to be, uh, yeah, $600 a day. And then I'd need 1000 for a bodyguard. So that would get me all the way up to 1600 a day if I did that. And that feels like it's a lot of money. And maybe it's not, but I just, again, I got to make sure. Okay, you're out of here. Go away. Just get. You're, I, I've got no time for you. Go. There you go. Fall in the grass. All right, uh, let's get these people in. How you doing? Good to see you. I've got no reason to reject anybody because it's an all-inclusive place. So come on in. Just try not to drown, please. And don't definitely don't get attacked by sharks. We definitely appreciate that. Uh, the waiter is hopping like crazy. Sam, the dancing bartender, is having a wonderful time. How are we doing on food? I feel like we should be absolutely fine on food. Uh, let's take a look at our shopping. And let's take a look at our food. Uh, oh, yeah, we got plenty of everything. No issues there. I'm not anywhere near being out of anything. That was the best decision I ever made to order 10 of everything. We can use a little more vodka. So let's get a little more vodka. And how about here? Anything else? No, nope, we're good. Just do that. Boom. That is done. Going to once again hit escape because I can. <laughs> and we're going to let these people in. How you doing? Come on in. So, yeah, I've got to basically make, if I wanted to get a bodyguard, I'd have to be able to make like 1600 a day in order to do that. And, again, that feels like a lot of money. So we'll have to just see how much we can get from all the people and from the things that we can sell. Because if we can make $1,600 a day, I can get a bodyguard, and then maybe that would do us a little bit better. I, don't, I just don't know what the bodyguard would do, and I don't know if I want to spend that money on it. But... Uh, we'll see. How you doing? Come on in. Enjoy your stay here at the Rusty Chair. We now have fancy red chairs over here to go with our fancy blue chairs. And we can, I wonder how much, the, oh, that's 70000 for that expansion. And that would give us a beach expansion and a pool. And how much is this one? 50000 And this just expands the beach. Meanwhile, over there, they're still doing all of their exercises. Um... I forget what they call those things. I, I remember what they, I mean, I remember doing them, but I don't remember what they call them. Um, oh, all right, here we go. Yeah, you better get out of here. Um, I'm not messing with you, dude. I know what you're about. You've only got one thing in mind, and it's not good. Let's check out our tip box. Lots of tips. Let's grab all the tips. There we go, all of them. And uh, what time is it? 18.20. We've got a little bit of time. All right, 5.82, so 5,800. So we'll take a look again. We'll, we'll go through one more day, and we'll see how much we get um, in money in a day. So if we get to the point tomorrow where we're at 7,400, then maybe I can... Oh, man, we got two people in danger of drowning again. Why is this? Um, maybe this is why I'm going to have to get a bodyguard, because they can help out with this stuff. So possibly. And there we go. 
So, okay, so I've got to get to, uh, she's walking underwater. That's kind of interesting. So I've got to get to like 6,800 by the end of the day tomorrow in order to then be able to hire a bodyguard and pay all three and keep making money. Because right now, I just that's the part I don't know if I can do it. So let's see. Are you good? You are good. That's wonderful. All right, let's go here. Uh, get our tips. Uh, you should give me tips for saving your life. So that only seems right. All right. Um, you guys hold down the fort. You keep dancing. Have a good old time. Um, I wish you would look a little bit less sullen. I mean, you, I know you're just a waiter, but you're on the beach. I mean, that can't be bad, can it? Can it? Okay. Um, let's head over here. Those guys just exercise all the darn time. They just do not stop. Uh, I do want to check out, just for the fun of it, I do want to go over here to the casino. Because I've not done this, so it would be interesting to see exactly what goes on over here. I don't know if I want to do too much with it. Uh, we got a roulette wheel, so I could play some roulette if I wanted to. What's around the corner here? So we have a roulette wheel, and that's it. So I could play some roulette, or I could do nothing. All right, maybe I'll do this real quick. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to just do five, and I'm going to do it on uh, red. So we're just going to do that. Uh, just You can tell I'm a huge gambler, <laughs> as you can see. So we're just going to do a whole whopping five, and it's on black. So, yeah, I earn nothing. And that is why I do not gamble. So <laughs> we're going to head on back and go back here, get some shut-eye, and wake up in the morning feeling all refreshed and ready to find out how much money we can make in a day. Because that will allow us to know whether or not we can hire a bodyguard to help us out here at the place. Okay. <clears throat> I'm feeling pretty good. New bills have arrived. Okay, so that's how I know when I have bills. All right, so let's go to here, my beach. Invoice payments. Oh, man, those are expensive bills. Uh, water bill, electricity bill, beach use, and the hostel fee. Okay, that's fine. Oh, they come once a week. I get it. All right, I'm going to move this up to uh, $50 and move this up to 150 and or No, 140 There we go. So we're going to do that. Uh, growth. So, okay, and we're making some, doing some stuff on there. Oh, we got a treasure hunt. Okay, let's get this taken care of. Uh, how dirty am I? It's I'm I'm a little smelly. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves unsmelled real quick. Let's do that. A real quick shower. And eventually I'm going to have to eat and drink. But right now that's not causing me any issues. So I'm not going to worry about it just yet. But eventually I will. Come on, guy. I got to get out of here. I got to get the beach open. Let's go. All right. Let's run out real fast through the door. I can leave the door to my hostel open. It's not my place. It's theirs. I can even leave this door open. They don't care. And we're going to run out here and get here just in time to get everything rolling. I'm here. Are we ready? Yes, I think we are. We're going to roll in here. And the beach is open for your convenience. Let's take a look here once again. Popularity. Um, beach should have been softer. I don't know. what to do. It's like a noise hell. Um, uh, uh, um, uh, I don't, um, ah, okay. Uh, no comment. Let's go back out here. <clears throat> Let's find the, the thing in the water that we can sell. Where are you? Where are you? You're way out here. How far do we have to go for this? Is it, oh, wait, there it is. Um, is it just another coin? It's another coin. That's fine. Because um, it's still money, and money is still good. So we got to get to, uh, let's see, I got 5,000. So I got to get to like 6,500 is what we're shooting for. And that'll tell me that we can make this work. Okay, you apparently don't want me to metal detect you, so I got to put that away. All right, so if we can get to 6,500, then that'll be enough for me to get a bodyguard. <laughs> so we'll see how we do over the course of the day. I apologize for coughing all up in your ear. I did not mean to do that. Okay, so let's go here. So I'm not going to count this as my money. So, and this is only 50 bucks anyway, so I'm just going to sell it for whatever. And, uh, but I'm not going to count this as part of my money towards my total 
before uh, getting up to 6,500. So I basically got to get to like 6,550 is what we're saying, or maybe like 6,570 because we're not going to count this as part of the money because it really, th this is like bonus stuff. Okay, so sell. There we go. And we got all these people that are waiting to get in. I'm just standing here playing with my phone. Isn't that the way it always is? How you doing? Come on in. How you doing? Come on in. How you doing? Good to see you at the rusty chair. And uh, how is everything going with our morose, ennui-filled waiter? Man, that guy just looks like he is all kinds of sad. I don't know what to do to perk that guy up. I really wish I did because he is just, yeah, like all kinds of morose. Okay, we got someone already in danger of drowning. That's always the way it goes. Let's get you taken care of. We got two people in danger of drowning. Okay, I, this is getting to be redonkulous. All you people cannot swim. What is your issue here? Why can you not swim? All right, let's get you picked up and get you taken care of because we got to save the other one. Okay, so let's run. Get the other one taken care of. Where are you? You're way out here. Get you squared away. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got you. There you go. Perfect. So we're going to get you taken care of. And, whoa, the, all of a sudden our frame rate is horrid. I don't know what's going on with that. So uh, let's set you down. And there you go. Are you good? You are. Yeah, but our frame rate has completely died. Uh, what happened there? Let's see if there's something that maybe happened with my screen. I, I don't know. Uh, let's do a quick, a uh, little quick alt tabs and see if that helps. So it doesn't look like it did. Uh, hmm. We've, we've apparently made it into the matrix. So we'll, we'll see if we can get through this day and not have it be an issue. But yeah, the frame rate should not be like this. This is a little bit weird. Um, but we are still working our way up to like $6,500. That's what we're shooting for in terms of money. Uh, is it, uh, let me go, let's go to settings. Um, let's just, let's drop that down to high for right now and go to resume. Uh, no, that did not help. That did not make any difference. So we'll go back here again and we'll go back to settings and we'll set that back to ultra. So we'll do that again. Okay. And resume because yeah, there's something going on. I don't know what it is, but we won't worry about it. I know I saw, I got a notification saying that one of my things was about to die. It might be my mouse. And if it does, it does. That's fine. Uh, we're going to grab all the money. So all the tips that are in the tip box. There we go. And grab that. Where is the notification? There we go. Uh, the shark. All right, we're going to get you now. Um, where's my stick? Grab the stick. And let's go. Uh, got to get the stick. Oh, man, it is just thrashing on that person. Get out of here, shark. Get out. You're gone. Um, and now where's the person that was drowning? You're, and of course, you're way over on the other side. You've got to be way over on the other side, away from the shark. Of course. That's just Murphy's Law. Okay, we got $6,000 now, so that's pretty good. That's making me feel good about being able to get a bodyguard because then I think we'll be able to do everything we need to do with all the people that are employed here. All right, let's get you so you're not drowning. That's better. And again, I don't know what's going on with my frame rate. This is so weird. Welcome. Welcome to the rusty chair. Welcome to your twin. And welcome to you as well. Yes, yeah, so we got 6,200. And we're still going through the day. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like we can do this and not run out of cash in the process. Because, we, yeah, like I said, we'd have to make like 1,600 a day. If we can keep on having people show up, is this hurting us at all from a, uh, from a popularity standpoint? If we look at this, is this doing anything for popularity? Uh, we're down to three stars. And, um, hmm. oh, yeah, that's all still the same as it was before. So I don't know if there's anything to change there. i got to stop looking at my phone. And let's get you taken care of. So, oh, another one that's in danger of dying. Oh, all you people that can't swim. Um, let's see. My battery's running low. Oh, I didn't plug in my battery. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Um, hold, please. Uh, that's what it is. I unplugged my PC, and I've got to plug it in. There we go. Um, yeah, just little things like that. That's what it is. Okay, perfect. Now we got it. We're better there. Okay. Yeah, just a little stuff like that. And you are going to try and drown on me as I plug in my PC. All right. There it is. 
Now we got you. All is well. <gasps> yes, you're all good. Okay, got all these people. Okay, I can now definitely get enough to um, to get a bodyguard. So let's do that. We're going to go here. Oh, another one. Arr! All you people that want to drown on me. And why are you in the water with a hat on? And why are you swimming in the water all the way out here with a hat on? What is going on with you? Why did you leave your shoes on? Um, all the questions, and I have none of the answers. Ugh. All right, let's get you taken care of and run back this way and get a couple more people in. Here we go. Come on in. Good to see you. And now, okay, I'm not going to worry about getting the, bar, the uh, bodyguard today. We will do that tomorrow, and we'll see what the bodyguard does for us. Because honestly, I still don't know what the bodyguard's going to do. Hopefully, the bodyguard's going to be like a lifeguard as well. That's my hope. Fingers crossed. No spoilers. We shall see. The day is almost over. I'm sure we have a few more tips in the tip box. Oh, yeah, we got all kinds of tips in the tip box. There we go. That's nice. So, yeah. And once we sell one more big thing in the auction, then we'll be in pretty good shape. Yeah, I've got $7,000. So, for sure, I can afford to have a, um, I can afford to have a, uh, a bodyguard here. That won't be any issue at all. So if we look here, and if I look at the beach, and if we look here, are they saying anything about our, about our, oh yeah, now we're back up to four stars again. So that's fine. I'm good with that. Yeah, we got 6,400. So yeah, we're doing good on money. We've made plenty of money. And I'm still looking at my phone. I've really got to stop doing that. And there goes our waiter with the extremely long arms. Heading back to his spot. To look all sullen, saying, I want to go in the water. And then we got him. He's like, I go in the water all the time, even though I never leave this little hut. And he's just like, I want to be like you. Well, you can. You just got to believe in yourself. Just believe. And you can be anything you want. Meanwhile, back to the hostel we go. Um, <laughs> and we will return to the rusty chair in the morning. And we will have one bodyguard in tow to see exactly what a bodyguard does for us and while it's, I'm here and since we're not able to go to bed just yet I'm going to use the bathroom again once again everyone uh, turn your eyes and this is yeah I, ruzzle, ruzzle. um ha ha I love your humor you're so funny there we go um Again, you can tell how much of a fan I'm not of that. So, all right. Uh, okay, three more minutes. We can go to sleep. All right, we're going to sleep. Shaking off the day's fatigue. And now we're going to go back to the beach. Going to hire a bodyguard and see what kind of a day, what kind of a difference that makes in our life. Because I really don't know what it's going to do. Maybe he's just going to take care of the peeper. Maybe he's also going to help us with all the people that are drowning. Maybe he's going to beat the shark away. I'm not quite sure. But it is worth investigating, and it doesn't cost us that much money. He is here dutifully picking up all the garbage. That is so nice of him. And we're going to go into our map. Uh, what is the scanner? I, oh, that's for selling things. That's right. So we're going to go here, and we are going to go into my beach, and we are going to go into employees, and we are going to hire a bodyguard. So let us hire you. You are now on the staff. And where are you and what are you doing? So where are you? Uh, there you are. So are you just going to take care of uh, bringing all the people in? So what are you going to do then? Uh, just don't remember. We're, we're all inclusive, so don't send anybody away that doesn't need to be sent away. That's, that's all I ask of you. Just be nice to everybody, okay? Because, yeah, you're, you're all muscly and all that. And I know you want to flex, but just, just be nice to everybody, please. That's all we want. Okay. Let's get the beach open, because um, it's just about time. I hope that my bodyguard is not going to cause any issues. The beach club is open for your convenience. And now, oh yeah, i got to go out here. So let's grab our uh, metal detector, find our daily treasure. It is out here somewhere. You're over this away. And where are you, our daily treasure? Man, you're way out here. Oh, wait, there you are. Um, what is this? Oh, this is one of those, uh, like, um, 
earns or things like that. And I think this was a little bit better money, if I remember right. So how much money were you? Uh, so we're going to go to Trader. Going to go to Sale by Auction. Yeah, the vase. That's right. The bronze vase. So that'll give us a nice four hundo. So we'll do that. And someone will be interested in that because they always are. People like their bronze vases. See? Scarlett Martinez really wants it. And Anthony Perry really wants it. And, of course, while this is going on, I am – someone's getting ready to die because I'm busy on my phone um, waiting for this auction to end. All right. Are you done? Okay. Be done. Hurry. Go, 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 go. Okay. Um, not that. And let's run. Take care of you. Again, you're so close to shore. You can walk out from here. Um, almost. Okay, let's get you rescued. There you go. <gasps> yes, you you were safe all the time. All right, I do want to see what this bodyguard's doing. I'm just going to stand here, and I'm going to have my arms crossed looking in the distance at him to see what he's got going on and make sure he is not being mean to the people. It seems like he is. Because uh, if he's being selective, that now now I'm also going to be interested to see because the peeper is showing up here. So I'm going to be interested to see what happens with him. So is he going to beat that guy up? Right now he's just kind of standing there. So they're they're kind of he hasn't made any moves. All right, so he is letting everybody in. That's good. All right, so the peeper walked away. So maybe he's just maybe it's only when the peeper like kind of gets in here that he gets all up in his face. And so we, we will continue to monitor. At least now we've got more time to save people that are willing, that are getting ready to die because I don't have to go and let people in. So I've got that going for me. Uh, that's an immediate benefit of the bodyguard. So there we go. You're not going to die. You're going to give us tips because you're not going to die. And we're going to go to the tip box. All right, you're doing a good job. You seem like you're letting everybody in. That's all we want. That's all we're asking for. Let everybody in. Oh, okay. Um, I'm busy taking the tips out of the tip box when I could be saving somebody. All right. Uh, where are you drowning? You're way over here. Okay, let's get you taken care of. I'm here for the rescue. I never knew I could swim as well as I could. I was not aware of this. And again, you shouldn't be wearing your shoes when you go in the water. Um, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I mean, what do I know? Um, it doesn't seem like it's the best route to take, but hey, I'm not an expert. And thank you, and I will gladly take the tip from the tip box. Let's go. There it is, $21. I like it. Let's get that closed up. Okay, so he seems like he's doing his thing. That saves me one additional place I have to go. <sighs> and it's good because no one knows how to swim except me. And again, here's this lady who's in her hat and her shoes and was a VIP at one point in time, and she just does not know how to swim. Okay, I don't know why you keep trying. Um, you're just you're you're convinced that one of these days it's going to happen. It was superb. I thank you with a tip. My life saving abilities were superb. I hope so because the option is not really that great. So it's either A or B. Take your choice. Okay, so how are we doing? Let's take a look at our our inventory. So let's go here. How are we doing on all of our food and stuff? So we go here shopping. Um, we're good on is there anything that we're below five on uh champagne so let's get some champagne there we go we'll get six of those how are we doing on food everything food wise looks good uh yeah still good still good yeah we're good um uh, machines well i could get a speaker i want to wait I, next time i get something that is a um that is a what am i trying to say a, a nice thing to sell at the auction then maybe I'll do that. I don't think I actually ordered my uh, foods. I'm pretty sure I did not. Uh, oh, man, once again, I got to go out here. and Oh, it's the shark. Uh, stick, here we go. Damn, you shark. Uh, come on. Uh, you, you, you look so funny when you're doing your acrobatics. Get out of here. Okay, and that person's going to leave. <laughs> okay, I wonder. Oh, that also makes me wonder. Can I get, like, some extra perk points? How are we doing? So growth, uh, skills. Oh, yeah, I got three perk points. Okay, let's get fewer shark encounters. You go away. Um, and shark hunter three. Oh, wow, those go up to like level five. And uh, I still don't have a car, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that. So I'm just going to do sleepless nights. And we're going to go out here. 
and we're going to save another person who's getting ready to drown because that is basically our life now. We save people that are getting ready to drown. That's what we do, especially these guys that go out here in their white tennis shoes um, swimming in the water. Maybe that's why you're getting ready to drown because you're wearing tennis shoes in the water. I mean, maybe that's got something to do with it. I, I don't know. It's a non-scientific study, but you gave me $40 to save you, so we got that going for us. And you are still a very happy man. Let us go here, because I did forget to order all of my champagne. That did not happen, because I was busy doing other silly stuff. Yeah, so all the champagne. Oh, there we go. Back to the water we go. And we got another person to take care of. Seriously, I have never been in a place where a lifeguard was so necessary. That seems like the biggest thing that we need is a lifeguard. So there we go. You're safe. Everybody's always safe. I promise you're not going to die because if you did, I'd be out of business. You might get eaten by a shark, but you're not going to drown. So there you go. I can make that promise to you. <laughs> and It might be the only promise I can make, but I can at least make that one. And one more, because it wouldn't be a day without one more person. Oh, we actually might even get one more at this point, because I've still got another hour that we're open. Um, you look like you're wearing a polo shirt, uh, and you're out here in the water. Um, I don't know for sure. It looks like you are. Again, all these people are like in full-blown regalia when they go in the water. Yeah, you're definitely wearing a polo shirt. What's that all about? Such interesting choices for people that are here swimming. Uh, and again, you, you can wear whatever you want when you swim. I mean, it's certainly not my place to tell you what you wear. I can just always scratch my head. Uh, this guy's going to pay us $50. He's going to pay us even more than that to be here for 10 minutes. He's not even going to get to a chair. And he's going to have to turn around and leave. There you go. You didn't even make it to the chair. Are you actually going to sit down in the chair? Uh, no, you're not. You're going to turn around and leave. So you basically paid us $140 to walk down to the yellow chair. That is my life. I love it. That is called good money at any price. Well, there we go. Another successful day at the rusty chair. We had that one big auction thing that made us a ton of cash. We've kind of expanded. We've got a morose waiter here. We've got a, not, a seemingly non-overly zealous body, bodyguard that's taking care of bringing people in and takes care of the peeper. We added a couple of nice little pieces of furniture here. We added a couple of fancy chaise lounges, and we added some red deck chairs. We got a bunch of food. We've still got Sam, the happy bartender, who's just dancing like crazy. Um, all in all, life is going pretty good here. Oh, and we paid the mafia because, of course, you got to do that too. Maybe we won't have to do that now that we have the bodyguard. Who can say? We will find that out in our next adventure. But that is going to be all for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, I appreciate it if you gave it a like. If you really like this video, I'd appreciate it even more if you considered giving the channel a subscribe. But that is all. Until next time, thank you as always for being a part of all of my silliness. I am Rusty Champagne, and we will see you later.